Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of something new I'm doing, or maybe doing, which is called You Pay, I Play. The idea with this is that a while ago, a user on Twitch actually offered to buy me a game on the one condition that I play it and make a video for it. The game that he chose is called Cook, Serve, Delicious. It's, I don't know, kind of like fast food tycoon meets Typer Shark, although you can technically play with a mouse. Anyway, the point of this game is that you run a crappy zero-star cafe and you have to, you know, purchase equipment and choose what food to put on your menu and then serve the customers during the day, try to make money and win stuff. Um, I've gone a little ways into it, but I'm starting a new game here. Basically, where we're at right now is I just finished, like, the kind of tutorial beginning. And here we are, we're ready to start. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to pick the foods that we're going to work on, or that we're going to offer in our cafe. And this is actually a deceptively complicated thing. So every food has positives, which are these green circles, and some negatives as well. So for example, the pretzel's very cheap. It's only $350 to add this to your menu, but you can see there's a lot of negatives here. So it's never ordered in restaurants as two star or higher. I don't care, because I'm zero stars. In the morning, it's a minus 5% buzz. Um, buzz is just a measure of, you know, how excited people are to come to your restaurant. So the more buzz you have, the more people are going to come. And this is just a morning, in the morning, you know, this thing isn't very good. Um, customers don't tip when they order pretzels. It's not ordered during rush hours, which doesn't really matter that much. Menu rot is a common negative. What that means is that if you keep it on your menu for two days in a row, then on the third day and onwards, it will actually cause negative buzz because people get sick of it. And then there's Fatty McFats, this is an interesting negative. If you have three food items with this pig symbol on them at the same time on your menu, then um, it actually causes a negative 5% buzz with e even more negative 5% for each additional one beyond the third. So you have to take a lot of things into account. What are the positives? Um, what are the negatives? And, you know, how much money does it sell for? So pretzels sell for just, you know, four bucks. Now, let's say we take this steak here. It's a much more expensive item to buy. It's $2,200 just to have steak in your restaurant, whereas the pretzel was only $350. But you can see the steak has a lot more upsides. It's uh, $10, sells for $10, unlike like the pretzels will sell for four, so you'll presumably recoup your investment. And it's got the menu rot thing, and it's cooked slowly, and it causes lots of plates to be used. There are chores that come up during the day, and this increases the amount of time that you have to spend washing the dishes. But on the other hand, People can leave a big tip. It gives a bonus if you have uh, health nuts items. Um, sometimes this is a kind of a weird positive. It can, you know, potentially in the future give you access to other things. And finally, um, if you're at four stars or above, it's, it lures VIPs, although I don't really care because I'm nowhere close to four stars. I've never even made it to like one star or two stars, whatever the first upgrade level is. But um, one cool thing about this game is that uh, every food item is made differently. So I highly recommend that when you try to play this game, when you buy something for the first time, click the try out button because it, it can be very different and some of the food items are quite tricky to make compared to others. So here's the game. We're in tryout mode. Tickets will appear. And uh, when you press the number corresponding to the ticket or click on it with your mouse, you go into the menu. And here's where you get the typer shark element. You have to do certain things depending on the order. So this person wants it seasoned three times, so I'll press S three times, and then juiced once. Then you press enter and it starts cooking. Now some foods, you do the thing, and then once it's done, you just serve it to the customer. However, the steak is cooked food. So with steak, you actually have to wait for it to finish cooking. And if you serve it too early, the customer won't be happy. If you wait too long, the customer will be unhappy as well. So now it's ready to be served. I'm going to press the one key again. If I wait too long, you can see that bar filling up. That's bad. And that was perfect. So when you get the yellow circles, that means that you did a perfect job with the order. If you mess up a little bit, like I'm going to just season this twice and juice it once. If you mess it up just a little bit, then what'll happen is you get an average order. It'll have blue circles. And if you really fuck it up, you get red circles, and that's a bad order. People are going to badmouth you and lower your buzz if you do too many bad orders. So again, I'm waiting for it to get to the point where it is cooked. And I deliver it, but because I had that one mistake, I didn't season it enough. That person is just merely average. All right, so let's go ahead and leave the try mode for the steak. And yeah, I am going to go ahead and purchase it, even though it's it, it takes a, a significant amount of my initial funds um it's just a good food item to have all right what else would we like to have well i'm gonna go ahead and put salads in 
So salads also increase the amount of dishwashing that you have to do. They also increase the amount of trash bags you have to take out. But I find that the chores are not really that big of a deal. So I'm okay with having these more chores to do. There's lots of upsides to salads. So they never, people never get tired of them. They have this health nuts thing. So if I get some more healthy foods, that'll be good. Um, if I have carry out service, they give me a bonus. That obviously is not the case at the moment. And they actually add some buzz in the afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase salad. It's another expensive food. It's expensive for me to buy and it costs a lot for my customers to purchase. All right, so we got salads and we got steak. Um, why don't we add some soda to wash it all down with? So soda has a problem. It never gets tipped. It has more trash and it's got this fat symbol, which by itself makes no difference. But it is good because um, it never rots on your menu. So let's go ahead and grab the soda. Now soda you get, we'll just see, is actually very different from the steak. I'm not going to try out all the foods, but soda. So there's three different sizes. You can press the up key to make it small, medium, or large. And then you have to pick the right type of drink. So in this guy wants a diet. You press down to actually pour the drink. And then if the person wants ice, you press I. But if they don't want ice, you don't press I. And then after you do everything, you serve it, and then it's done. That's the nice thing about soda. It's just it's just there and it's gone. Now we're going to mess this one up a little bit. So let's go ahead and give this guy a medium cola. All right. We'll pour it. But I'm going to give him some ice. There are some things in this game that you can take back, but there are some things that you can't. So you can't start over. If you put ice in this person's drink, well, that's that. So now I serve it, and that was average because I messed up just a little bit. So that's it for the soda. Go ahead and purchase this. And we do need at least one more item because we need to have four items being served on any given day. What I'm going to do here is add something simple. Let's just add the chicken. It's another expensive item, but it sells for a bit and doesn't have too many drawbacks. Granted, it's got this plate thing. Oh, man, maybe I should probably not have so many things that cause me to spin plates. But it's good for healthiness... Yeah, this is fine. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So these, these are chicken breasts. They're kind of annoying to make. You have to tenderize them six times and then season them. But the nice thing about this item is that it never changes. It's always uh, the same, same as it is. So um, now let's go to the active menu. Here's where you select the things that you will be serving in your restaurant that day. You can see I've got 40% buzz thanks to my health nut bonuses. You can press this button here to see the positives that you have on all your items. And you can also see the negatives that you have on your items. Now, I've got two items here that have menu rot. So after two days, people are going to get sick of these, and I'm going to have to buy some more food. So in preparation for that, let's go ahead and check out some equipment. So equipment allows you to get access to other food items. So we can get grills, which allow you to make burgers and nachos. We can get at a fryer station, which allows you to get um, fried chicken and hash browns and soap papillas and fries. And then we have the stove station, which allows you to make uh, soups and pots. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the deep fryer station. That's the cheapest thing here. And then we can now buy some foods that weren't available before. I think I'm gonna see if I can afford fried chicken. I can indeed. Great, so this is nice. It's fat, but I'm okay with that. I've only got one other fatty item. It has menu rot, but I'll just, you know, cycle it in and out and people don't leave tips, but there's lots of benefits. It also gives me an afternoon delight bonus. If I have carry out service, it's good. It has no impact on the dishes, which is really nice because uh, I have got two things that do. It gives a bonus at night for my buzz. And okay, so let's go ahead and purchase that. I'm not gonna try it out right now. And there we go, I've bankrupted myself, but I've got um, some extra food that I can use in case my people start getting sick of my items. And um, I'm ready to go. So the daily buzz, you can see where your buzz is coming from. I currently have nothing negative and I have several positive things. So I have a new restaurant, and so people are excited about that. I've got some afternoon bonuses, the health nut bonuses, and then I've got some staple foods that are never gonna get, that people are never gonna get sick of. Okay, so once you do all this stuff, we actually start playing the game. And you can see this is gonna be a fair bit more complicated than the tryout mode that I did. So there's gonna be a couple things here. First of all, sometimes, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, you're gonna have multiple things coming in. When a food item that has to be cooked is ready to go, see ranch, greens and carrots, you can serve it even if you're in the middle of something else. At the moment, there's nothing else occupying my attention. But for example, if I were to go here, I could now press the one key and serve that chicken that I just finished cooking before. All right, let's make some soda. Small diet with ice, okay. Ice, serve that, great. You can see in the upper left-hand corner, it keeps track of your combo, which is how many perfect digits you got in a row. We have to do a chore here. We have to flush the toilet and sanitize our hands. Season three times with juice. 
there's some weird quirks in this game, like who orders steaks and then tells you like uh, how many times to season them and how, how much citrus to put on them. That's a little bit odd. At least the places I go to get steaks don't really give you that many options. Season, juicy, citrus, okay. Let's deliver that. That, the, the, you saw there I got a Steam message there? That's the person who got me the game. One, two, three. Okay, so we're entering rush hour. Rush hour ramps up the speed at which things come in significantly. Although we're not gonna feel the impact of this too much just yet because I have stuff cooking and when stuff is cooking, it reduces how many orders are coming in. Medium, grape, ice. Now we have to wash some dishes. Wipe left, wipe right, wipe right, and on to the next dish. Oh my gosh, I need to, I need to deliver that. Uh, medium, water. Who pays water? Who pays money for water? All right, here we're doing the trash. So you uplift, right throw, and then at the end when you're done, you have to sanitize your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season it. Put it on the grill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season. Oh my God! I don't know if I actually did that six times. Oh, wow, that might have been a mistake. Ranch, cheese, bacon, and croutons. Oh, I'm really terrified about this chicken. I don't think I seasoned it six times. I was talking, and that made it tricky. All right, that one was good. Small diet with ice. Now oh, that was average. Bummer. Cheese, greens, and carrots. If you have a day and you get all perfect orders for the entire day, Typer Shark, you actually get a $250 bonus from your chef for a, for a perfect day's work. So since I got that one average order, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm not going to get that $200, $250 bonus. But that's all right, we'll, we'll be fine without it. One, two, three, juice there. The game does a pretty nice job of throwing new things at you most days. We'll see that. One, two, three, juice. More dishes. Later, you can purchase things to, uh, that like cause you, that you can purchase like other equipment types that reduce how much work you have to do. I do like the dishwasher a fair bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, because uh, the dishes seem to be more annoying than the other chores. But still not that big of a deal. Medium water with ice, okay. Flush the toilet, throw the trash, lift, throw, lift, throw, lift, throw, lift, throw, lift, throw. Serve the chicken, sanitize my hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, I had a feeling I tenderized it only five times. Should have trusted my instincts and given it one more tenderizing. Ranch cheese, BOMG. Those of you who like my Typer Shark video will surely find much to love and cook, serve, delicious. Serve that. Small water with ice. Now there's gonna be another rush hour at six o'clock. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see the time in the upper right hand corner. It goes by kind of quickly, Sims style. Now here's rush hour. One, two, three, four, five, six, season. One, two, three, four, five, six, season. One, two, three, four, five, six, season. My wrist is hurting. All right. Yeah, it's not exactly realistic that just because one, two, three, juice, just because you have stuff cooking, people can't come in and order more food. A little bit bizarre, but whatever, it's, it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, season. Oh my god, I do not want to do dishes right now. Well, it's gotta happen. Once you start doing a chore, you cannot back out of it. You have to finish it. Luckily, the chicken takes a one, two, three, four, five, six, season. Small grape ice, serve the chicken. So we're setting a rat trap. Oh, I need a one, two, three, four, five, six, season. Man, people really freaking love the chicken. Season, juicy, citrus, serve. Mushrooms, tomatoes, greens, and carrots. Uh, what's happening here? Season, juicy, citrus, small cola with ice. Okay, I think we're doing good. So this is kind of nifty. People do that, and then if you give it a thumbs up, you get an extra buzz. Small tea with ice? No problem, sir. Lift, throw, lift, throw, lift, throw, lift, throw, lift, throw. Sanitize the hands. Large grape ice. So it's, um, it's kind of cool because you think you got the hang of this game, but as soon as you get a new dish, 
you know, it, it's, it all th it throws everything out of whack because the dishes are all quite inventive in how differently you have to prepare them and press the keys in different directions and make different choices and stuff. Um, I remember I, I thought I, I knew what I was doing and then I got ice cream for the first time and ice cream just fucked me up. So I kept pressing C when I wanted to put a cherry on it, but C is the chocolate flavor, not cherry. It's H for cherry. You know, this is the kind of stuff that you have to master if you want to be an excellent cook server and deliciouser. Ranch and cheese, okay. So you work from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. or something. It's a pretty crazy day. We're coming up on the end of the day here. One, two, three, four, five, six, season! Those cries will haunt your nightmares tonight. All right. So once the restaurant closes, you just wait for the final dish to keep cooking. If there's anything cooking. This is the asshole that comes in, orders a freaking chicken right at closing time. Let's serve him that stuff, and there we go. So that is Cook, Serve, Delicious. I'm not going to go through another day because that was quite a long time, but I will pause here before ending this video just to show some of the other out-of-game stuff. So here we go. To, 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 to reach the one-star level, these are all things that you have to do. So I got served four foods in one day, and I had a 10% positive buzz from customers. Eventually, there'll be a safety inspection. I got to pass that. I need to buy a tip jar and collect 100 bucks in tips. So that's another thing. There are six foods and drinks for your menu that need to be bought. I've got five, so I'm close to that. I got the 12x combo there once. I need to do it two more times. And then the hardest part is just doing 20 days. And then once you get up to one star, you know, stuff changes. So let's take a look at the other metagame stuff here. You got this email area where you can uh, read things that people send you. Most of it is stupid, but every now and then they'll tell you like, oh, you can buy something now, the tip jar. Or sometimes people will just give you money. You'll like open an email and you'll get money. It's kind of bizarre. So we can upgrade things. Um, we can buy new equipment. Let's take a look actually at the, the tip jar. So what happens with the tip jar is every now and then if you do a perfect order, somebody will give you a tip and you need to get $100 in tips in order to actually uh, unlock the next star level. And it, you know, it's extra money as well. So the $50 is well worth it. Let's go ahead and purchase this thing. There's a lot of things here you can see that we can't get yet. They just sort of appear randomly. The dishwasher I'm, I'm a big fan of. It's 800 bucks, but it halves the amount of dishwashing that you have to do. Uh, all right, let's go back to the main area. So we can upgrade foods here. So these appear, again, sort of randomly. This is an upgrade for beer, which I don't have. And I don't particularly want to have beer. So that's fine. We'll leave it alone. I've only got $354, so really not much else to do. I don't really want to buy any more foods. I don't have enough money to get any equipment or anything. But uh, I do have a bunch of buzz for being a new restaurant. 30% is a lot of buzz, so hopefully people will, will keep on showing up and giving me their monies. Um, again, when you go to the active menu, you have to you know make some decisions here. It'll automatically preload whatever you had for the previous day, but it's good to change it out sometimes because you, you might want to maybe proactively prevent menu rot. So just to show you here, you know these two items have that hamburger symbol, so people are going to get sick of them. Now, if I just leave them both here, then tomorrow both of these are going to be menu rotted and people will not. Uh, and I won't have any replacements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preemptively take away these damn chicken breasts uh, and put in grilled fried chicken. Or sorry, not grilled chicken, fried chicken. So now the steak is going to get menu rotted. It's good. People are going to get sick of it the next day. But uh, they'll have had a day's breather from the chicken's breast. So I'll be able to put the chicken breast in for the steak. And then I can rotate the steak in for the fried chicken and so on. So if you have basically, you know, three items that people get sick of, you can kind of cycle them in and out and to make, to make sure that there's always stuff that people are going to be excited about. Or you can just buy lots of other food items, you know, as you collect more money. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and or subscribe. If there are any games that uh, you'd like to buy me, um, send me a message on YouTube. I can't promise that I will accept anything because if like everybody wants to do it for some reason, then um, I won't have any time to do anything else. So uh, just make sure you let me know if you're planning to, you know, buy me a game. But if you would like to see me play a game for some reason, for whatever reason, I don't know what reason that might be. Let me know. Let's tell me what game it is that you'd like to play. And if I go, if I okay you on it, then we can be friends on Steam and, and you can buy me the gift. But I don't really ask for that. It's just the, the, the user actually brought it up himself. Uh, so I, I agreed and I, I appreciate that. So thank you to Dyslexic Alucard for getting me this game. And thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you again soon. Take care, folks.